why is it that there is this huge, very powerful section of people who's always opposing? Don't go by the noise that they make on the Twitter. They're making so much noise on the Twitter means uh, mm, it's little birdie, you know. Because they have no footprint on the ground, they have no substance. All they have is full time on social media platforms, particularly Twitter. Here we've left tweeting to the birds. Of course, uh, they must tweet <laughs> So, we should not overestimate them. But at the same time, can we ignore them? No. Uh, well, you must know this, Gautama was poisoned three times. The last time it killed him, the third time it killed him. Well, you know Jesus was nailed, you know a manjur was stoned to death, you know a Socrates was poisoned. This has been the history of humanity. But at least they're only tweeting against us. because that means they're not as powerful as the enemies of the past. They've been defanged in many ways. They can only write rubbish and obscenity about you. Because my chest did not swell up when somebody prays me, when somebody abuses me, I don't shrivel up, it makes no difference. Uh, at the same time, I think the organization has become alert and agile because of these people. Otherwise, a lot of them would be sleepwalking, now everybody's alert. See how the virus has made everybody super alert and conscious of everything that they do. Just like that, this kind of virus also, this is also one kind of virus, they're only wanting to go viral. Because they don't do anything of substance in their life, their only joy is for a few minutes in the day they went viral somewhere about something. Because they said something shocking or obscene or utter lie which shocked people and it went viral, doesn't matter. All I'm saying is, my only concern is this, that today, for the first time in the history of humanity, we have tools with which we can reach the entire human population. Never before it's been this good. Hello? Never before it's been this good. What are we complaining about a few? They have no employment, so they're… <laughs> they're self-employed in abuse <laughs> It's okay. Uh, but they're not just leaving it at abuse, they're trying to hit wherever it hurts most. Not me, they can't hurt me, they'll hurt the work at various places. But it's okay, I think if you keep the throttle on, uh, these kind of things will fall off. We just need to keep the throttle on, on, on. If our commitment to create human well-being as we are committed. If we remain strong in our commitment, these things will not only fall off, fall off they will be here also tomorrow <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, in Tamil Nadu, in late nineties, certain sections of media who started campaigns against us, our struggle started because we tried to stop a few things that were happening in the forests. Why we are always accused of damaging the forests is because those who are hunting, those who are poaching, those who are cutting sandalwood trees 
we made efforts to stop them, so they turned it against us and said, these people are just cutting the forests. <laughs> and even now it sticks, maybe a small percentage of population still believes that we could have done it. They, they keep commenting here and there, they say, oh, he cut all the forests, now he is planting trees. Because we stopped them, because they were having a free run, when we came and established ourselves here, we became a big sore point for them. We were the big trouble because this was the only road available for them to go into the jungle and do whatever they were doing. So, they are not able to eat venison, they are not able to eat buffalo meat, they are not able to hunt, they are not able to… Tch, wild war. They are missing all that and of course uh, the sandalwood and those who were clearing trees and cultivating marijuana up there, all of them we stopped. Because of that, twenty-five years later, still it is going on that we have destroyed thousands of acres of forest. Well, you ask any forest official who's working in the area, is forest doing better because of us or worse because of us? You can just ask anybody and you can ask any village person out here. People who have lived here for long enough, they know everything has become safe and secure because of us. So because of that, they're going on about that. Everything that you can accuse a man of, a man can do and cannot do, they accuse. These days, they're also trying to give a commentary on my quotes and my talks and everything, how stupid I am and <laughs> that is good. This is a good angle they've taken, I'm very much uh, excited about this angle. <laughs> Because some of them are writing, he's an inikum poop, he's a nitwit, this is good for me. Very good for me, you don't understand how, because uh, there is a certain thing to it, it's good. These accusations of forest and killing elephants, all this they have stopped because it's not flying, all government agencies have put out what is the information. So they know they can't go on saying that, now they're stopping that and talking about how foolish and stupid I am. That's a good advertisement for me, <laughs> that's very good. So at the same time, we should not… Uh, you know, like virus, virus is okay, we don't want it to get into our nostrils, so we must keep them little away. That we should always take care, there's no problem, but that we should take care of that. It… a uh, certain amount of energy and time is expended on this unfortunately, but what to do? That's part of living in the world. There was a great Kannada sage called Basava. He said, Betta dolandu mane maadi, Mruga galigan jidante, Sante yolandu mane maadi, Shabda gan jidante, Ura londu mane maadi, Maati gan jidante. That is, you build a home in the forest and then you're afraid of wild animals. What are you? You make a home in the marketplace and you're afraid of noises. So what's wrong with you? You live in a town and you're afraid of other people's comments, so what are you? Well, no, this is extra. <laughs> At least this you must appreciate. All these people who are giving commentaries on how stupid we are, they're avidly listening to us. One day it'll transform them. <laughs> So they are listening, this is nice. <laughs> they are reading every coat of mine and they are trying to find what's wrong with my coat. <laughs> every talk they want to give commentary. I have confidence that one day, one day it will… They, it will transform them for sure. If it will transform you, 